So I thought I'd come up with a different idea and just continue discussion for this game and just even during the downtime when Q Neutron is not out and nothing else is being uh, discussed as far as uh, the characters. I wanted to talk outside of the characters today for this weekend um, if you guys are interested in this type of uh, mode and not even just with a story mode, maybe I'll come up with that for a separate, a separate post, but I want to talk boss mode, Nickelodeon villains, Nickelodeon baddies, I'll say, and this game needs a lot of different modes, and uh, just to go to the online, these are not really individual modes that you can select from on the screen, you have to be online to play in, like the items quick play, and this it become more active just from playing this game when it became free for PlayStation Plus. So it's probably more like more than likely. Am I gonna find a lobby? Lobbies. You're gonna find lobbies. At least a few of them on PlayStation 5 or whatever uh, or PS4, and you'll find some people to play with if they're not in their own custom lobbies playing with their own friends. It's a little bit more active than it was usually because every time I would do this, it would always say it was no lobbies, but it's still a good amount of people playing the game and checking it out. Maybe trying to get the trophies more than likely instead of actually play the game and stuff like that. There's not really anything to unlock because you just go online and then you just get a profile icon from the player profile uh, section and that's it. But there's not much going on and uh, I definitely want to just slide this in here. I would love to see team play where you could do 2v2s and team up and um, not just have to, well, I have to make a custom lobby and then invite some friends together to create that custom to make that 2v2 possible. It can probably get some more player activity in the servers so you can do those different modes. But today's mode and just something you need to talk about is a boss mode I would like to see added. Not for just online, maybe that can be online co-op where you can just play together to take on that different boss or that Nickelodeon villain, they can expand. And just something I want to go bring up real quick just for a matter of seconds, because I'm just going to keep it on the extra screen for something different. Raining. So just keep it on the roster all the time. See all these characters? It's just, just it's so, it needs to be taken note. And it just, it just needs to be taken note of that. The fact that these characters, almost more than 90% of these characters of the roster is filled with protagonist characters uh heroes heroes or protagonist characters from the roster there's hardly any villains and just what i finished talking about lt gray being both a hero and a villain all into one with him wanting to be a wanting to be a hero just like his father but he also loved getting excited because he loved the excitement behind being a villain and being a bad guy so zoom counts as a villain and you got shredder so he's half hero and half villain and you got shredder but everybody else on the roster outside of those two characters there's a lack of villains you got two villains and everybody else is a hero 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 and just from all the characters it's 23 characters for now and of the of that 23 only two of them because Hugh's not out yet and Rocco's not out yet. You only have two characters that are villains. And everybody else that you see on this screen is a protagonist character or a hero fighting crime. And some people probably say Helga. But she has a crush on the on the on the protagonist character of Arnold. So she has some, some good deeds and ends up helping in some kind of ways too. So I don't know. I wouldn't probably really fit fit her. Yeah, she was a bully. I don't know. If you want to count it, maybe two to three villains, but that's still not enough, even if you consider Helga a villain or an antagonist from the show for Hey Arnold. But there's still not enough characters to be um, to match up against these heroes. They're outnumbered against all the heroes. Shredder was just about to battle them all by himself. <laughs> but I just wanted to bring it up on the roster so everybody can see all the characters currently in the game and then for my little idea for this boss rush they don't have to be a part of this roster so say if they that certain character doesn't make it to be in the roster they can still utilize that character and create them to be a part of the boss rush mode or it's just a, some kind of boss showdown mode where you can be able to battle all the different nickelodeon villains nickelodeon baddies and it can just give you a little description take on the take on the baddest of the Nickelodeon universe of the baddest of the bad from the NCU for a little bit of a description and you fight against those bosses and then with the stocks you can combo Select your brawler. you can you can 
match it up to have a certain amount of stocks. So as you battle the bosses, you're going to be it. You're not going to get lives back. You'll probably get some food and see how they put items in the game. You'll probably have your uh, a little bit of crappy patties. They can really make this work. You have a few crappy patties that you can eat. And then as you eat them, they're gone. It's almost like the R star all star mode where you can have those heart containers that you could take and pick up to replenish and replenish all the damage that you've taken throughout the fights and throughout the boss battles. They can have a couple crappy patties on the on the screen or maybe some other potential Nickelodeon healing items, purple flirt and many other things that they can have chocolate kelp and um, just different things that could probably help out um, this, the player that's taking on the boss. The bosses and the the villainous, the bad, the antagonist, the best antagonist or the top ten Nickelodeon villains that they could put in. They, and I just came up with a little bit of a list. They could put it in the extras and you have the stocks, stuff like that. They can see how the extras doesn't really have anything. Let's click on it real quick. It doesn't really have much. You got the gallery for photos. You got the moves and stuff like that for the moose and then replays if you have them. And then the jukebox to listen to the to the soundtrack. They got some good, nice songs. Every song in the game is well is is very well put together. And then the credits. But then you can expand behind these just these four icons, and it can look something a little bit more like this, where it can expand. And you got two different things on the bottom where you can click on them. So it could be like a boss rush or some kind of boss mode taking on those Nickelodeon villains in the extras playlist, or give it its own its own little selectable play playable mode on the screen for his icons and see how he got these little pictures of April and Mondo and Catdog and Gary and stuff like that they can have a little picture with with the design with a couple of those villains on the screen to display see what I'm saying and of those villains that I came up with from my list I'm going to have to listen to the description as well, by the way. Plankton with Karen, even if he's not a playable character, you could fight Plankton and Karen together because Karen's going to be helping him out and backing him up in the fight. The Dirty Bubble, Doodle Bob, I'm just going to run through the list real quick. Doodle Bob, Vlad Plasmius, if he doesn't make it as a character for the main roster. The, every, not every character doesn't have to be, not every character has to be a part of the roster. They can still bring these characters out to utilize them for different modes to bring up the play value and it brings up more uh, people to be active for the game and then they can come out with separate trophies where you can compete th complete the boss mode on a harder difficulty and, and stuff like that and you can also be able to unlock certain things and maybe those bosses just to mix it up and add on to it those bosses that you beat if you can can be playable characters see what i'm saying it doesn't really have to be up behind a paywall it can be also if they want to for some of these certain characters you can actually unlock these characters and beat them on the hardest difficulty or maybe win one life or just in a certain amount of time to unlock those challenges and gives that play value for those players to earn these characters if they want to, if the developers want to implement that, where you can unlock these characters, beat them from the boss mode, and you unlock that certain villain, and then you can also play their arcade mode or something like that for temporary for a little bit. It can be temporary unlocks, and you can play them or limited unlocks for a limited amount of time. So people start playing the game. They can just really do a lot of things with these characters. So just continuing the list: Vlad Plasmius, Spectra from Danny Phantom's World, from different villains. You can have see how they got Mondo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Bebop and Rocksteady from TMNT, Skulker from Danny Phantom, the Flying Dutchman. Take him out of the back, take him out of the background. He can be a boss himself, considering the fact that he was a boss in Battle for Bikini Bottom and other SpongeBob games. We had to battle him. Jimmy Neutron reference for Professor Calamitous. He could be a he could be a nice little boss to take on. Super Shredder, Vexus from Genie Genie Wakeman's World from Teenage Robot, Azula, she could be a boss from the Fire Nation. If you can't get a Fire Nation rep part of the roster, you can have that Fire Nation rep be a a good boss fight to battle against. It'll be really cool, and you can just do a co-op online. That can be an online mode, just as like I said. You can take that boss on with some with other, one other partner, and you guys can share lives with each other. So it makes it even more difficult, and it encourages the players to use teamwork, stay together, and uh, help each other out. And if the other person is going to get knocked out, the other player who has the least amount of damage taken can step in and take lead. 
See what I'm saying? So they can really just put this stuff together. Azula, I just mentioned, Mr. Crocker from Fairly Odd Parents. Even if they can't get certain characters from that show with the difficulties and the difficulty with rights and licensing and stuff like that, they can bring those characters to make them boss fights. They don't really have to be a part of the roster. And then for another character from Jim Neutron's movie, King King Gubot, he could be in, and then Evil Jimmy. If that's not already could be another alternate skin for them, they got all these different villains. That's just a couple of villains that I put in my list. The list goes on and on and on. Doctor Starkman, Doctor Starkman could be a boss battling his mech, but we got Plankton and Karen. You could battle all those different bosses in one go and see how far you can go, and you can unlock things and different rewards and earn those trophies. Even if they're not playable characters, it'll be nice. It'll be a nice touch. It'll be a nice change. And it brings more players to the game. But it's just a little bit of my idea just to bring these players, bring more players onto the game outside of just new DLC over and over and over. They can really expand with this new mode with bosses and taking on these Nickelodeon antagonists, the best of the best. And they can be really difficult, not easy opponents that's making mistakes, running off the stage, standing still, and making silly mistakes and falling off the stage and all that kind of stuff, and glitching. They can really be a serious challenge, and it's going to be super fun. It'll be really fun to play where you can do it. You can challenge yourself playing solo, play on a higher difficulty, and try to take it on with a partner. It could be four player co op, and they can have a little bit, they could be a little bit more tanky. The higher you um, put on the, the difficulty, so it could be really, really difficult. They can go beyond the CPU level nine, and they can turn it up to level fifteen, something like that. Level fifteen difficulty or something, just a random number. You can just be able to have a ultra challenge to be able to battle these bosses. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But it's just something to just discuss and really expand the menu and the extras playlist. Is just doesn't really have much going on. Just as I said, you got pictures, pictures, moves set if you want to check out the moves, and then replays if you have them say, and then you just listen to the music. But other than that, you don't really have a reason to really click on the extras. So, and I can see it right now. You know, new mode, new new playable modes. And just what just what just what they say right here. You axed and we deliver. We got voiceovers and then new even more new content with the items crashing into the game. See, turn the tire of the battle as you grab, hit, and throw all the items. They can utilize that item update and implement it in the in the boss fights. They don't need all the items, but they can just put in a couple crappy patties to heal up and maybe some more healing special items. That could be exclusive. New healing items that you can utilize a part of the boss rush for to take on these Nickelodeon antagonists. The best of the best on, on some really difficult battles where you have to try a few times and maybe you need some backup to have someone help you out. And play online and you also can do local play so if you don't want to be online you can just play with somebody and just do a couch co-op and just hang just hang out and play and try to get through those bosses that you have the most trouble with and you can actually earn rewards those characters that you face and so much more they can really mix it up see what I'm saying so it's just a little bit of an idea to talk about this weekend instead of just talking about DLC characters over and over this game needs some more modes because when a character comes out, you're going to take them online, play the arcade, and then play local play. And then you're all out of options. You're not going to really be able to expand and do much with that character. And then with no crossplay, it also minimizes the number of players you're running to. Because this game is not free on other, place, on other platforms. It's only so far, it's just temporarily free for PlayStation Plus, which is going to expire the very first Tuesday of July. I think that's July 8th or 7th. I forgot. But it's just a little bit of idea. Boss mode, Nickelodeon antagonist. Get the best of the best. Some of the strongest Nickelodeon antagonists. Most popular characters that people want to see. And that they think that they want to see. And add into the game. And then when they get more characters and further down the line. They can even slide into some. They can even slide in some protagonists. It doesn't really have to be all about the bad guys. It could be a different playlist to take on the heroes too. See what I'm saying? So it's gonna be. I think it'll be a, a nice little touch for the game to be able to expand the modes, so it's not just limited. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. 
But let me know what you guys think about this this boss rush and maybe some of the characters that you think could fit as a potential boss. And a lot of people is probably going to mention some Fire Nation reps and even more characters that could probably get into the game.